on the beach. We, not really, it's a lake, but we made it to our next campsite. Um, we left, oh my gosh, it's like I already forgot where we Big left. Big South Fork. Thank you. We left Big South Fork today, one day early, and we were able to get into a site one day early here at Land Between the Lakes. We're on the Tennessee side of this um, national recreation area. And we got the Piney Campground, which is a huge campground. We're on the Dogwood Loop. Um, but we ended up getting a site that's right on the lake. It's yeah. similar to our Lake Lanier yeah, site. Yeah, this is it. I mean, it's just right yeah. up there a little bit. There's the lake. Oh, I probably blinded you with the light. Sorry about that. It's nice, but this lake's like way bigger than Lake Lanier. Yeah, yeah, it looks it's like huge. a bigger lake. So we're here for four nights and um, you know, it was pretty level. We only needed one yeah, board, it's nice. so that was good. You can see there's a huge bridge. There's a big bridge over back there. there. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I don't know some bridge. I don't even know the name of this lake either. And then if you look at the beach, oh, yeah. Summer Beach, it's just these rocks, these yeah. sharp little jagged rocks. Let's see if you see it. Yeah, and well, can you see the shells? It's covered with like mussel shells. Like you can see these little ones. In some places, there are really big ones that look almost like oysters. So I don't know if anyone eats them other than the birds. <laughs> anyway, so um, we're here. We're going to check it out. It looks like there's a trailhead somewhat nearby. So we'll be able to check out the trails. Yeah. I think there's like 26 miles yeah, of trails. Yeah, it's, um, uh, it's really historic, like the Civil War yeah. routes. Uh -huh. We'll get more into it when yeah. we get on the trails. Yeah, but um, it's late, so we're just going to mm -hmm. chill out, and I think the sunset's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are going to show you, um, and we will talk with y'all in the morning. All right. All right. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday, November 8th, and we are on trail yep. at Land Between the Lakes yes. in Tennessee. Yep. So this park is... It's a national recreation area. Okay, national recreation area, and it consists of Kentucky and Tennessee, mm -hmm. right? There. It's another one that straddles the border there. So, and we are on the Tennessee side. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as just looking at first glance, um, yeah, it's weird. The colors the, are dull. Yeah, and they're not really even popping at all. Maybe falls late here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to say. And it's, hard, it's so hard to tell where things are going to change. We're at a low elevation, right? Yep. Because of the lake and everything. Yeah. Anyways, we're only here for like four days. Um, so we're going to check out these trails. Yeah. And there was a cool thing that happened yesterday coming here. Mm -hmm. The um, Well, what's the time change? Yep. 
and then we went into a different time zone. Yep. So we lost like two hours. We gained two hours. We gained, actually. yeah. So we gained two hours. Yeah, which is pretty neat. That rarely happens. Yeah. So last <laughs> night it was like I looked at my um, phone. It was six o'clock, and it was pitch dark. I felt like it was like nine. So it was crazy. Yeah, so um, we went to bed a little earlier, tried to get up a little earlier because the sun rises really early, of course. Yeah, it was up. Um, but was, it was really neat. It was like this huge fog bank over the, the lake. Yep. It was beautiful. It was awesome, yeah. That that RV site is it's incredible. Really nice. And we will see how the trail system are. Yeah, once are. we finally found the yeah. trailhead. I don't think they're going to be like super <laughs> special, but who cares because we are out here hiking. It's a wonderful day. And that's all we really care about. Oh, and another thing is we had a hard time trying to locate oh, this trail. A very hard time. And we asked the people at the gate. They had no idea. Yeah, he was trying to help. But yeah, he, he was really nice, but. And it wasn't entirely his fault. One thing, too, is the the, the big map, the, like the glossy one printed by the National Service, doesn't even have this trail on it yeah. at all. Like it just, the other trail that connects to it just sort of ends in the middle of nowhere which is not accurate because we had another map that showed it. So then a hunter came by who was leaving his site and he's like, Hey, download this app called, um, hunt stand, hunt and stand, hunt stand. And he showed me the view. It's like the, um, I think it's called like outdoor entertainment view or something like that. And then you can see more of the trails. So yeah. we did that and it worked. Yes. And it's how we found the trailhead. So hopefully heaven. that'll help us. Cause yeah. we had a little bit of trouble at big South Fork yes. too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's just no signs indicating signs where the trails are, really. And we're finding out, obviously, that the RV community, not <laughs> super not huge really hikers. Hiking as much. Yeah, so. Most of them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> or I think it would be lots of signs and people yeah. would know. Or they have their cars people would ask them all the time. Heads, Still. Yeah, that too, but. You yeah. think they would. Okay, yeah. so. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to keep to get to hiking and we are going to bring y'all along. And of course, we will get back with y'all. <laughs> All right. the sign we've got a giant person and then either a normal size person or this is a normal size and then this is a really small but they're like the exact same so this one's so really it couldn't big. be the kid no no i'm just saying and their backpacks know, are so small they're, they're ultra lighters and they're bald look at that look at the head it's i know so big they're comparison. completely bald why do hikers never have hair none they of them ever have beard one hiking beard stick. Beard. <laughs> and no feet no feet how do they even hike at all i don't think it's possible i don't know
right hey y'all so we're almost done with the trail today um and it was pretty i mean there wasn't a whole lot to see necessarily there was a really cool field <laughs> um <laughs> it was funny we were like oh a field so exciting yeah. But um, one thing that was kind of cool is um, about the history of some of the trails. So one of them was called the Artillery Trail. And we took that back um, from, we went a little bit north and then we came back on that trail. And it was used during the Civil War, the U.S. Civil War, by um, Ulysses Grant and his troops going from Fort Henry to Fort Donelson. And it's called the artillery trail. So I guess they were moving all their artillery. Yeah. And it was uphill the whole way. So we were like, man. Yeah. Oh, could you imagine like taking this, <laughs> pulling, you know, cannons and other types of cannonballs, I guess, you know, all that kind of stuff. And knowing, you know, it's you're in the middle of a war and everything. It was just Yeah, man. That was life was hard back then. Yeah. Man. Can't believe people are <laughs> crying about how easy it is nowadays it is easy now yeah i man. mean that was wild so that was really cool like a little piece of history yeah so very cool. you know but that's what it is it's you can tell the trails are follow the original routes because they're not really designed to go to this point to this point you're basically oh, yeah. just in the woods uh -huh. and there's yeah. some elevation gains some loss but it's you know it's your typical average every woods. day it's relaxing it's, it's yeah. nice but there's some cool trees yeah but there's a lot of dogwoods not really unique and more know. dogwoods than i've seen almost anywhere so yeah it probably would be kind of neat in the spring yeah or <laughs> even if it was really popping it would be nice the colors. the colors i mean it was nice don't get me wrong i i love hiking regardless you know yeah just getting out in nature and moving and good it's good for the yeah. body the soul the mind the mind body soul <laughs> <laughs> yeah and now we're almost done and we're super excited about getting back and eating one of our favorite foods we'll let you guess what that is and you know finishing up for the day getting to watch another beautiful sunset hopefully and on the lake i bet it will be nice <laughs> go from there yep all, all right, right. Good afternoon, y'all. That's right. <laughs> it is Tuesday, November 9th, mm -hmm. and it is the afternoon. Yes. So this morning, we we kind of just took took it easy, and then we rode our electric vehicles to this spot because we're trying to, we want to explore these trails farther up, and we're trying to bypass this connector trail. Mm -hmm. So we found the spot, mm -hmm. and it's a little service road. Like five miles, what is it saying? 0. 0.52 Point, basically. Yeah, yep. And so you go back there and then you, we found the trail finally. Um, yep. So tomorrow, we just wanted to scout it out. So tomorrow we're just going to 
ride our bikes and skateboard there and then we'll cut out like three miles of the trail which yeah. would be awesome yeah we'll cut that out but we'll add one mile with that little walk down the surface yeah yeah so anyway, but, so, we cut but anyway so that's what we were doing this morning um <laughs> then we went to the outpost yeah we went to the outpost and then um and then we, and did, we just we rode just, around check things out yeah we kind of checked out stuff. we checked out the other rv because there's a few other is, little parks around here yeah well the piney piney campground is the whole area and within the piney campground they have several loops we're on the dogwood loop um but there's i think four or five other loops so i mean it's a huge campground it's one of the biggest ones i think we've been in maybe the biggest um but so we just checked out one of the other loops right. a couple of the other loops yeah. and we think ours is still pretty darn good oh yeah we like our spot in our best. spot <laughs> yeah definitely awesome we lucked out again once again yeah so anyways we want to today for the rest of the day we're going to explore this um it's a lake it's a lake yeah so we're going to lake it's kentucky lake i think kentucky lake Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna explore the shoreline. It's not really a path, but we're just gonna walk yeah. it. But as you can see, it is basically rocks like this and a little bit bigger, very loose, um, at a slant. So it's not the smoothest walking conditions. <laughs> but then again, you know, the funny thing I was telling her, I go, man, when you hike through the whites in New Hampshire, it's basically giant version of this the whole <laughs> way through so I whatever like, i was like really <laughs> all right nice. well we are going to explore and of course we are going to bring you along and we will get back with y'all all right So we have been exploring for a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and what do you think so it's far? It's cool. We've been walking around the lake um, in this, the part that is normally underwater, but they drain the lake a little bit in the fall, in the winter, 
So now we're, you know, able to explore this area. Do you think this would all be underwater? Then yeah, somewhere? I think so. I think it's normally all the, the rocky part. Because you can kind of tell there'll be um, like an erosion area. And so probably up to that point is where the water would have been, I think. And some of these places, they have all these rocks to keep it from eroding, I guess. But you can sort of tell what the part that's normally underwater. So. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> So it's been really neat. We I think it's pods. really, really cool. Um, so tomorrow we're actually thinking about just not doing those uh, wooded trails. Yeah. Because there's a lot more of this to explore. Right. Um, the island we want yeah. to get to. Yeah. So we, we think we're going to just explore some more of this yeah. tomorrow because we like it and you don't really get this kind of hiking that yeah. much. It's unique. I mean, you can't even, like I said, I think half the year yeah. you probably can't even walk here. It's almost like um, Fort Clinch in a way, but mm -hmm. it but does look like it out there. Fall and not sand, rocks. And, and not full of biting bugs. Yeah, it's weird, but it's cool. It's really, really <laughs> cool. I'm enjoying this a yeah. lot, and I can't wait to come back out tomorrow and explore it. Yeah. But for now, we are going to hike back to our RV mm -hmm. and eat Ooh, and call it a day. Dinner. And um, we will talk with you all in the morning. All right. <laughs> Hey y'all, so it's uh, Wednesday, I think it's the 10th of November, and we uh, just decided to hike, we keep changing our plans of where we're going to go, so we decided instead of going, taking our bikes and uh, bike and skateboard to the other place and trying to go out to that island, we thought we'd just kind of go in the other direction from where we went before. Hey. So. So we went up towards this abandoned boat that's here. I don't know why they left it there. It seems like it would be pretty easy to get rid of it. And it seems like it would be below the water line a lot of the year. So I'm not sure, but it's kind of cool seeing some little wreckage. And um, this morning I looked at the, some history because I was curious about when this lake was formed, assuming it was a, a man-made lake, which it is. Um, it's the biggest, I think it was the biggest man-made or the biggest lake um, this side of the Mississippi and it's called Lake or Kentucky Lake it was formed it started it the dam started to be built in 1938 and was completed in 1944 um, 
there's uh, the Fort Henry that we talked about before is actually any remains of it are actually underwater so that's part of the reason why we don't get to see that fort um, also there's some railroads that were um, abandoned when they had to you know when they were filling the lake and some of the remains can be seen apparently from space which is sort of interesting so I don't know it's really cool though I mean like I said it's very different though another man-made lake is very different from Lake Lanier where we were uh, earlier last month um, it's kind of more it's much bigger much bigger boats come through they oh yeah the mussels that we talked about that are harvested here they used to sell those shells to the um, to make buttons they sold them to the button factory. <laughs> so anyway, I thought it was cool, which makes sense because some of them are really pretty, like purple and pink and stuff like that. So anyway, I think it's really cool out here um, still. I like look at some more of the history, look at the shoreline, see how far we can go in this direction. What do you think? Yep, I'm ready to explore. <laughs> and we'll take you along. All right. All right. All right, so when you're hiking along this lake, it's really cool, but then you come along these little coves, and they're usually not near as big as that. That's the biggest one we've seen. Um, but now we're like, the RV park's gone. We're pretty much kind of in the woods, I think, now. So we just got to this edge, and as you can see, that cove goes way back, and then it looks, and when you get to the end of the coves, it's just moggy. I mean, a big old, like, boggy, real boggy and marshy. And you gotta watch where you step, cause you'll just sink. And I'm looking right now, and that just looks like a big old marsh. But we're gonna go down there and around, hopefully, and see if we can pass it. That's kind of the exciting thing about this, yeah. is when you get to these little areas, you gotta try to figure out ways to get across. Um, Man, it's pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can do this. So we came to this fence, as you can see, and a sign says danger, underwater hazard. Um, but as you can see, you can go right under the fence. So what do you think? You think we should go for it? I think we can risk it. I don't think we're in danger. <laughs> Me neither. We're going for it.
right, y'all. So we just made it around that cove. Yeah. That so, was close. yeah. So it, when we started going around it, it started get it started going more around, and then there was another, another cove. <laughs> there was a series of coves within the cove. Yeah. And then we started getting to a really like marshy, boggy part, and we went up into the woods, and we found a trail that is this little like two mile trail that's up mm -hmm. there. It's kind of paid, but maybe paid like a long, long time ago. Right. So it's just, yeah. but anyway, so we used that for a little bit to get around that squishy part. And then as soon as it started going back into the woods, we dropped back onto the lake shore mm -hmm. and started hiking and just now got to the other side. So as you can see, zoom it in. That right there is where that boat was, and our RV park is just right there. It took us two hours to get here. Yeah, that's where we were when we started over by that old boat and just went around and around. But it was super cool. It was so much fun. So cool. And now cool we're things. now we're in an area that's just woods. When if you go if you go up in there, it's just woods. It's, yeah. There's no, no parks or nothing. So it's just like wild around here um, lots of stuff like drifted up and then huge what are those mussel I shells think this is mussels this is a smaller one but yeah it's really purple yeah sure. man this is cool pretty... this is some of the my funnest hiking i yeah. love just exploring stuff like this it's so much fun it's mm -hmm. so awesome all right well we are gonna keep on exploring and hiking and um, we will get back with y'all all right This is a persimmon, a, a wild persimmon actually, that um, we've seen several of these trees along the beach. And I'm really excited to find them because when we were on the trails in the woods a couple days ago, we kept seeing, um, this is kind of gross, but we kept seeing like bear scat that had these seeds in it. And we were like, what are they eating? This is so weird. It looked kind of like flat acorns. And finally I thought, oh, they look kind of like maybe persimmon seeds, but I couldn't see any persimmon trees anywhere. Plus they had lost all their fruit and leaves, which is hard to identify. So anyway, very excited today when we saw a whole bunch of these um, along the beach. So I opened one up just to kind of confirm what the seeds look like. And sure enough, that looks like what our bears, our local bears and maybe other animals are enjoying. And they have tons of them, like right here alone, there's like 10 trees I can see right here. So anyway, just kind of neat foraging stuff. Humans can eat them too, but leave them for the animals because we have the grocery stores, at least for now.
right, y'all. So we just finished our little exploring mm -hmm. slash hike. Amazing, 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 man. Um, as you can see, I think it's going to be another amazing sunset. So yeah. we're probably, I'm going to go take a shower and um, then we're going to eat. Mm -hmm. We're discussing what we're going to eat. We're not really sure yet. And we are going to definitely watch that sunset. <laughs> um, yeah. And um, man, just amazing day. It's this amazing. park, it's cool. It's amazing. We, we like it here. RV park. Maybe we're in the right time of year. RV park. I'm gonna. Leave, I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Yeah. Solid. Just amazing. This site. Man, really? I almost want to give it a nine, but that's too much. I don't Is know. It? But the it's park. It's a nine for now, the, right? Like I said, we didn't really explore any of the trail trails. But right. just exploring around here, around that lake, I gotta give so the much park. Fun. Yeah. I gotta give it a nine. Just I'm blown away. It's yeah. amazing. It's so much fun. I love doing that. That exploring. This whole trip, this whole trip has been nice. Like the grocery store when we got here, the people here, just everything. Yeah, you know, man, it's kind man. of a cool good vibes. Yeah, dude. You know, super great yeah. part, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're in Tennessee. So we we're think Tennessee. we're gonna come back. Yep. Oh, definitely. We've got this definitely. on the list, and we might really want this yep. site or one right next yep. to us. But this is our last day, yeah. and we're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we will talk with y'all in the morning. All right. All right.